on today's class. Students, from today, we will begin Unit 9 and the name of the chapter of Unit 9 is My Unknown Friend, which is written by Stephen Lecoq. Now children, from the name Unknown Friend, little bit suspicious. Although somebody is my friend, but I do not know who that is or who is the person who is my friend. So, this is the chapter. If someone is my friend and I do not know that whether the friend is really my friend or not. So, in this chapter, there is a good conversation between two people and they are behaving like they are the fastest friend, very good friend, but at the end something different will happen in the chapter. Clear? So now let's begin the chapter. First we will see something about Stephen Leacock. Stephen Leacock was a very popular Cana Canadian humorist. He was also a teacher for many years. Literary lapses, nonsense novels and Sunshine Sketches of Little Town are some of his books. So let's begin the chapter. Children, because it is a conversation between two people, so first I will read the content. Afterwards we will see the explanation. So today, just I will read the chapter. Clear? So start. He stepped into the compartment of the pullman where I was sitting alone. He had on a long fur lined coat and he carried a $50 suitcase. Now children, whenever I read, you also try to read and see the conversation. Clear? So you people will get more impressed if I read it. Once again, he stepped into the compartment of the pullman where I was sitting alone. He had a long fur lined coat and he carried a $50 suitcase. Then he saw me. Well, well, he said, and recognition broke out all over his face like morning sunlight. Well, well. I repeated, by Joe, he said, shaking hands vigorously, who would have thought of seeing you? Who indeed, I thought to myself. He looked at me more closely. You haven't changed a bit, he said. Neither have you, said I heartily. And all the time, I was wondering who he was. I didn't know him from Adam. I couldn't recall him a bit. True, I find it very hard to remember people's name. Very often too. It is hard for me to recall a face. And frequently, I fail to recall a person's appearance. And of course, clothes are a thing one doesn't notice. But apart from these details, I never forget anybody. And I'm proud of it. But when it does happen that a name or a face scared me, I never lose my presence of mind. I know just how to deal with the situation. It only needs coolness and intellect and it all comes right. My friend sat down. It's a long time since we met, he said. A long time? I repeated with something of a note of sadness. I wanted him to feel that I too had suffered from it. But it has gone very quickly. Like a flash. 
Ash, I agree cheerfully. Strange, he said. How life goes on and we lose track of people and things alter. I often think about it. I sometimes wonder, he continued, where all the old gangs are gone to. So do I, I said. In fact, I was wondering about it at the very moment. I always find in circumstances like these that a man begins sooner or later to talk of the old gang or the boys or the crowd. That's where the opportunity comes in to understand who he is. Do you ever go back to the old place? He asked. Never. I said firmly and flatly. This had to be absolute. I felt that once and for all the old place must be ruled out of the discussion till I could discover where it was. No, he went on. I suppose you hardly care to. Not now, I said gently. I understand. I beg your pardon, he said. And there was a silence for a moment. So far, I had scored the first point. There was evidently an old place somewhere to which I would hardly care to go. That was something to build upon. Presently, he began again. Yes, he said, I sometimes meet some of the old boys and they begin to talk of you and wonder what you are doing. Poor things, I thought, but I didn't say it. Okay, so children, this is a conversation between two people. Okay, the first person, that is the writer, he is sitting in the train and going somewhere. All of a sudden, one unknown person enters into the train. He sat beside the writer and the two people, they have started talking together. The person who has just entered in the compartment, he said to the writer that yes, hello, we are friends and I know you. Uh, it's a long time to see you. What are you doing here? And I have never imagined or I have never thought of it that in the future I will meet with you. So now the writer is totally confused because he has not seen this person anyway. Not, and even he is not feeling like that, that person maybe is one of the childhood friends. And that's why the writer is totally confused and he's trying to recall all the memories that from where the friend has come, from where unknown person had appeared and he's simply telling that I am your friend. So the writer had decided that let the talk start, let the discussion start and in the meantime I will remember that from where the person has come here. But there was a clever talk between the two. The stranger who just entered into the compartment, he simply said that. He didn't take any name, he didn't take any name of the place. But he said that, have you gone to the old place? Have you met to the old friends? Okay, so even the writer is recalling about which place the person is asking and about who friend, about the friends to whom this person is asking. So, till now, the writer is totally confused that who is he and the he, the person, the stranger who has just entered into the compartment, he is very frank with the writer. And continuously he is talking. Yes, we were playing there, we were going there. I have met many of the friends. They all were asking about you. Like, what are you doing? Where are you? So, and I have no answer to give them. 
so now fortunately i met you here in the compartment now he the person he is showing all the relations to the that writer but writer is totally confused that from where the god has sent this person in this compartment okay so this is all about the lesson till where we have read we have read now in the next part of the video uh, we will do the next reading and after that we will do the complete explanation till then children you also try to read the whole lesson clear thank you